winner in that one's class will also be the champion County Horn, South Down Music. Fresh presented, uh, South Down that comes out next. 
I told the young man that she's got a, a nice, uh, some nice things about her as well. It's just when we get onto the side, uh, that class winner is built a little better. She uh, uh, wants to run uphill maybe in a more direction than what she does, but still a nice one uh, to be second. Young lady that rounds out uh, the South Down Yearling class has one that super opens up in her loin, which uh, probably one of the biggest loin views uh, that we've seen today, and that's awesome for this one. Uh, just need to see more outward curvature to her rib shape. Uh, and of these three, she's a little planner down the last part of her style. Well, let's congratulate these kids. Placing them in the South Down Yearly Hughes, first and second, Raven Hugan, third, Olivia Jones. We'll now select the champion South Down U, the uh, Raven Hugan's first place U Lamb and first place Yearly U. Give these South Down exhibitors a nice round of applause. Uh, I think two U's that definitely represent the breed extremely well is uh, yet still keeping a breed characteristics in check, but still being able to possess some good qualities about them. You know, we talked to our yearling, uh, you know, she's one that uh, uh, combines a lot of good things as far as what I look and still having some dimension. Uh, then we got a nice U lamb down here that's really good in her overall rib shape and is extremely impressive. Uh, when we get on the top side of this one, skeleton and framework, I'll go ahead and select our champion. Champion is Brandon Hugan on a yearling, and we'll bring in the second place yearling to select the reserve team. Exhibitors, this class will be followed by the 
South Down Division, I think uh, these two that we lead off with up front are, are youths that definitely combined uh, some good quality characteristics in their own right. Uh, both u lambs are really good as far as their structure goes and the way they're presented. I uh, like these two quite a bit. Then we get down here, still a nice pair, I think, youths that definitely complement each other. It's definitely easy to get on the top side of them and study and evaluate rib shape. I uh, just like to change a few little nitpicky things about this pair, but I think definitely uh, a nice quality set. Let's congratulate the pairs.
Let's give our parents a nice round of applause. Uh, definitely two uh, breeds are crossbreds and our South Downs, uh, I think, both represent the breed extremely well. You know, our commercials up here are definitely both used that uh, have muscle uh, as a, a priority, uh, especially as you get your hands on each and every one of these uh, used here. Uh, both really explode as far as having some shape and uh, some true dimension there. Uh, then we get back to our South Downs, and I think they're really good as far as their bone work goes. Uh, really correct. Uh, and they're really correct in their overall design, uh, just kind of some subtle differences. I'll go ahead and select our champions and we'll bring in our reserve. Our champion here, one of the uh, pair of crossbreds exhibited by Shannon Dugan.
I said, uh, maybe not have quite the most numbers or the most breeds, but I think uh, all four of these are well deserving of being out here. Uh, commercial U that we lead off with here on the top is one that uh, uh, she's put together really good. Uh, she's still one that balances. Uh, and like I said, I really appreciate this. This one, as she gets out on the go and you really analyze her, the way she still keeps herself together, extremely good. Uh, our Hampshire U here, uh, she's uh, really, really nice. And you get in behind her and study the top side of this one's hip and the way she's dimensional uh, down through that stifle really good in her bone work. Uh, Horn Dorset, she's a female that's really long. She's really extended. We really like this one. Uh, when she gets out on the go and the way she handles her rear hawk and the way she plants and, and sets them down really square and nice and from that perspective. Uh, then we got a South Down U out here that I think is really competitive as well. I uh, love her though. She's upright on her toes and her overall bone work and uh, still wanted to get it behind her. Uh, she's really dimensional in the top part of her hip. Uh, I guess, you know, for me, when you get out here and, uh, you know, being a breeder, you want to find a U that, that combines, uh, one that's uh, uh, going to protect you in any uh, area regardless of what breed you've got. Uh, she still needs to have a good look. Uh, still has to have some good skeletal calling to her as well. Uh, with that being said, I'll go uh, select our champion U.
think each and every one of these uh, definitely have some good characteristics in the way they're put together. You know, the horn doors that you got to appreciate it for having some extra length of body and some squareness. Uh, our commercial here is one that's a combination as far as uh, having some balance. Uh, and you still want to get your hands on her. She's really impressive from that perspective. Uh, when we get down here on our south down, I uh, really like this one. As you go on the top side of her skeleton and framework of having a good shape and uh, spread to her rib cage. Uh, I think as it gets down to it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use our commercial uh, for our born and raised. Champion County born is shown by Mariah Lackner. Class 20, our 